Hi everyone, this is Seth Colliner for HotHardware.com and today we're going to have a look at the Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch, which is Samsung's second generation smartwatch. Here we're simply just going to scroll through the various home screens. You can swipe left or right and you'll get to the same places eventually. And there are just a handful of handy apps you can use here, including a remote control. Tap that button, you're back to the home screen. Let's check out the settings. The variety of parameters you can adjust here, the usual suspects, sound, display, a variety of other ones. You can even reset the watch from here. Let's go quickly and have a look at the display. You can adjust the brightness. It's four by default. You can dial it up to six, which is plenty bright to be seen outdoors. You can also adjust the screen timeout, which is just how long it takes the watch to turn back off after you've used it. You can even change the font style. These are all here by default. I chose kind of a silly one here, not quite suitable for an adult. So we'll just quickly switch it back. A few taps and it's back to where we need to be. You'll notice I'm swiping from the top to the bottom for navigation. Swiping from top down simply gets you back to the previous screen and of course the button takes you back to home. The pedometer is pretty straightforward. It's simple. It shows you mileage and steps and the calories it believes you've burned. You can easily uh, see your history and you can also set different types of goals. I have it 10,000 steps but you can see how easy it is to switch it to something a little bit different. And there you go. Let's check out something else. Quickly, we'll see this again in a bit. There's the camera, it just gives you a little bit of a preview. And this is the home screen that the gear ships with by default. So that's what you'll see unless you decide to change it. The heart rate monitor works just fine, although frankly, it's a little slow. As you can see here, it takes a little while before it actually measures anything. So you'll find yourself sitting and waiting for perhaps a bit too long. And there we go, 90 beats per minute, fantastic. Now let's go check out the exercise feature. It's again, fairly straightforward. We'll just look at the running one quickly. Again, when you hit start, it's gonna measure your heart rate. And again, that is going to take just a little bit too long, perhaps. There we go. It's counting down and off I go for a run. I'll keep track of my mileage, the time, and keep track of my heart rate. Under controls, it's pretty simple. Volume and brightness. There's nothing much to see there. Very simple. As you can see notifications, I have a number of apps in there, including the default ones, and they'll just let me know when I have a message. The dialer is pretty straightforward. It's simple, it's clean, and it's nice and easy to use. And let's scroll over a little bit more. There's actually a music player on board. It only plays local music, which is a bit too bad. Uh, as the 4 gigabyte storage doesn't hold all that much, but it's nice to know it's there in a pinch. And back again to the home screen. Let's take a look quickly at apps. Now, this is actually a whole other section separate from all the home screens, and as you can see, there are a few more apps underneath the apps icon than there are on the normal home screen. So you can scroll through those and see there's a few extra goodies like the stopwatch, the timer, a few other items as well, a sleep function, the weather, and a few that I've installed. Looking at the actual device itself, you can see there's the metal home button. It turns the watch on and off, and if you swiped away from the home screen, it'll take you right back there. On this side, there's the camera and the IR blaster, which you can see fairly clearly here. It's nice that they fit it into the bezel of the watch itself. And here you can see the biometric sensor on the bottom and also the charging port, that's those uh, gold pieces. And this is the metal clasp and the rubber wristband. Surprisingly, the rubber wristband never starts smelling even if you wear it uh, for a workout and get it all sweaty. The metal clasp is sturdy. Sometimes it takes a second to get it lined up right to snap it on, but once you do, you're all set. Let's take a look at some of the apps. You have to tap Gear Manager, which has to be installed on a compatible Samsung device, and this is really the control center for everything on that Gear 2 smartwatch. 
you tap Samsung apps and these are all of the apps that you can install. You'll note this, this is not an Android store. Under entertainment there are quite a few options. Some of them are fun, some of them aren't so much, some of them are simple. That's one of the more populated areas as is health and fitness. There are several apps in here, some of them more complicated, some of them less, but you don't have that many to choose from unfortunately. Let's take a look at one of the more populated sections with the clock. These are the many, many watch faces you can use with your Gear 2. As you can see, we're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and we are not getting anywhere close to the bottom. Finally, we made it. And you can see that's what it looks like when you download an app. In fact, let's download an app quickly. This is simply going to be a new face for our watch. Tap the icon, tap free to download it, accept and download. Now this is downloading to the Gear to itself as well as the smartphone. It just takes a minute just like any normal app would. And then you'll be able to look at that watch face. Now let's take a look in Gear Manager here. Now again we're going to scroll down and take a look at My Apps. This is where that watch face is installed as well as everything else that's actually on the Gear 2 smartwatch. As you can see there are quite a few apps. Most of them came baked in. We added a few at the bottom there. And that's what it's going to look like for you. Speaking of watch faces, let's take a look at what we have to offer here. Settings and clock will give you the list. These are all possible defaults you can use, and these are all pre-installed. As you can see, some of them are clocks and some of them have a little more information. You can also see items that we've installed ourselves. In fact, that's the one we just chose. Give it a tap. And when you go back to your home screen, that's what you'll see, and you'll see this every time you wake up your watch to take a look at the time. Let's see what some of these notifications look like. We just got a text message on our phone and saw it on our smartwatch. You can tap the message, it opens up, and then you can read it. And if you want, let's look at actually how the messages appear. It's the same one. There you go. And you can reply simply by tapping that envelope. You have these templates to use, which are rudimentary but functional in many cases. We'll just choose one and say OK. Hit send. And momentarily, we'll have a successfully sent text message right from our smartwatch, as long as it's close enough to our Samsung Galaxy S5 smartphone. Finally, let's see what it looks like when you actually make a call from the smartwatch itself. Again, we're within Bluetooth range of our smartphone. We start punching in the number, the watch remembers that it's probably the number we just got a call from a little bit ago, and then you hit the green button, and off it goes. And momentarily we can pick up the phone on the other end, and there you go. You can have a conversation again using just the smartwatch. We took things outside to have a look at the camera. As you can see you get a nice preview, tap to snap a photo. And there are a number of settings you can adjust, including the focus mode, switching from auto to macro. And photo size, you can actually get fairly high resolution photos in theory. And you can also toggle off things like the shutter sound, which you may or may not want depending on what you're doing. Voice control is quite powerful. When it's on, you can simply use your voice to tell the smartwatch to take a photo or a video. We toggle the video now, and as you can see, with a simple tap, now we're shooting. And as you can see, we shoot in only about 15 second increments. That's enough of that. And having a look under the settings for video, you see mostly the same things. That's the best you can do for video right there. And here you go, location tags, you can toggle them on and off. And again, voice control, you can toggle that on and off. This is the Samsung Gear 2 Smartwatch. I'm Seth Colliner for HotHardware.com.